Debt is at an all-time high, literally. In 2023, the total household debt just passed $17 trillion. And that's a staggering amount when you think of how much money is actually in the world. And some articles show that the average American has around $96,000 in debt when you account for things like student loans and mortgages. And with the recession, inflation, and rising interest rates, that's something that you can't carry along anymore. Now, there are extremes like cutting up your credit cards, but all of these methods boil down to one thing, and that's no more debt. And even in this video, if you continuously spend your money while we're trying to pay it off, this whole plan just goes out the window. And the first thing that you have to do is understand the actual financial debt situation that you're in. And you can do this by listing out what your debt is and what the rates are. And this is no matter the size. You can do this anywhere. You can do this on a piece of paper, or you can even do this on something like Microsoft Excel or Google Docs. But the most important thing is that you list out all of your debts. This includes mortgages, student loans, and even things that you have delayed that you don't plan on paying off for a while you need to list them down and once you have everything identified you can move on to the next step which is planning now there are multiple ways to pay off your debt you can either continue along the path that you're doing blindly paying it off and hoping it goes down or you can actually go a structured route and there are two common methods the snowball method and the avalanche method now both of these involve you making the minimum payments on all of your debts making sure you're not late with anything but the snowball method means you list out all of your debts and whichever the smallest balance is you pay extra towards that and whenever that one's paid off whatever's remaining you pay towards the next smallest and so on but the avalanche method means you separate it based on interest rates for it you're going to be paying extra towards whatever the highest interest rate is and whenever that one's paid off you go towards the next highest and so on now these two methods are pretty simple and they were even recommended by dave ramsey and his baby steps but there's another method that's not often discussed and should be handled on a case-by-case -case basis and this one is debt consolidation and what a debt consolidation loan is is when you have multiple high interest debts like credit cards or even personal loans these all get put under one loan so that way you have one payment and I personally find that mental strain of having only one payment versus having something like seven payments way better. Because if someone were to list out all of their debts, they might just be mentally detached versus just having one payment and actually just caring about one loan. But something like this does have downsides. For a debt consolidation loan, not everyone could be eligible. Oftentimes, the interest rates could vary, meaning it could be higher than your current interest rates. And oftentimes, it decreases your credit score. And like I said, this is a case by case basis. So make sure you seek a personal financial advisor if you plan on doing it. Now I have another tip that people don't often talk about, but before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Now this one sounds so simple that people often overthink it, but it's actually reaching out and trying to negotiate with your lender. This is as simple as asking for either lower rates or different terms than what your current loan is. And this one is as simple as trying to reach out to your lender, just asking a question. And I've done this multiple times with my credit cards, just reaching out to the bank and asking for lower interest rates. And oftentimes they actually just lower it. Now, of course, this one's gonna vary, meaning if you're in a good financial situation with your lender, compared to you being in something like in debt collections. Because at the end of the day, most lenders and creditors are gonna work with you to try and get their money back versus nothing at all. Now, all this means nothing if you don't wanna stick with it and pay off your debt. And I don't mean setting a financial resolution just to be forgotten about two months later. You need to stick with your debt or else you'll be back in the same circle and where you began. Because debt is like a double-edged sword. You need to understand it in order to get out of it. And if you are sticking with it, but you're having trouble making the payments, this just oftentimes boils down to you need more money. And I know this one's easier said than done, but if you have the means and the time, oftentimes getting a second job will only help expedite you paying off your debt. And this could be a second job, a side hustle, gig work, or whatever you need to do. But if you're unable to increase your income, you only have one option, which is maximize what you have, which means you need to make a budget and maximize your money. And if that's the case, check out this video where I made some tips and tricks on how to maximize your savings. And let me know down in the comments what topics you want me to cover next. 